Hi, I'm Maddie. And I'm Anya. And we're the Tweaks. Welcome to the third week of our Comic Mix Band Slash Challenge Summer Reading Challenge. This week, we'll be discussing This One Summer by Julian and Mariko Tomaki. The book is about a 13-year-old girl named Rose and her family who goes to stay at their cabin over the summer at a beach town called Awago. She hangs out with her friend slash cabin neighbor, Windy, who's 10 years old. Rose, Windy. This graphic novel follows her 10 days at the cabin. It's kind of like a diary or a journal, almost, that... It's kind of detailing Rose's vacation, but it's also not. There are many plot points that progress. You also see the characters progressing, too. The book really shows how kids, and teens especially, how everything around them is changing, and they kind of have to change, too. It's a really good story. My favorite character was Wendy because she's really well-written, and she's spunky, and she's relatable, and I can really, I can really identify with Wendy. My favorite character was Rose's aunt, Aunt Jody. She is really thoughtful and she's really perky and fun. When Rose's mom isn't doing so well because of her complications, Aunt Jody really steps in and helps Rose know that it's okay. My favorite part though was when Rose and Wynn rented a DVD and got into these horror films and then someone's like, oh, you should watch Jaws. It's a classic. And so they did and they're like expecting it to be super scary and then it wasn't. They got all upset. That was my favorite part too. You can tell how truly amazing and time consuming the artwork was in this book. And BTW, Maddie and I do not think at all that this book should be banned. In 2014, this book won the Caldecott Award, and many people were surprised because it contained mature content. The Caldecott Medal Award is for children's books, the best illustrations for ages up to 14. Though 80% of the winners are for books that are 8 and under. So when parents had their 7-year-old kids reading a book that was rated ages 12 and up, they got a little upset. There could be kids out there who are the exception for the age suggestion, but the publisher and authors cannot be blamed for parents who aren't in control of what their children are reading and then freak out. Once again, this falls under the category of parents can control their family's reading, not the libraries. And I mean, challenging a book because you didn't read the age guidelines? That's, that's ridiculous. Just because a book has illustrations, awesome illustrations at that, doesn't mean that it's a book for kids. Praise. <laughs> and for those parents who think the comic and graphic novel industry is just for kids, they need a pop culture intervention because the comic book industry today is based for adults. Adult men, mostly, but if you watch our show, we, you know we're trying to change that. Would you let your kids see an R-rated movie or a PG-13 movie? You know, our parents do a little bit of research before they let us go see the Hunger Games. And would it kill the parents to read the book jacket before they let their kid read the book? I mean, come on! Would these people who are so concerned about what everyone else reads let their child have free access to the entire library? No. Graphic novels and comics are written for specific interests, ages, and sensitivities. This is why there are ratings or reader suggestions. Did you know that the parents who tried to ban the book didn't even know the age rating? They just thought because it was a graphic novel and it won a children's and teens book award that it was good for their kids. Do your research before you start yelling and screaming about taking a book out of the library, people. Come on! Luckily, the comic book Legal Defense Fund was able to defend the book and make sure it wasn't removed. Yes, the book does use foul language and it does discuss teen pregnancy, but... These are things that happen in real life, and kids that are Rose and Wendy's age do know about these things. It's realistic, and I for one think that a realistic book is much better than a book that's sugarcoating life. And kids, if you want to read this book, but you're not 12 yet, then ask your parents first, and have them do some research, or have them read the book. And parents, be realistic, please. If you haven't read this one summer, we totally recommend it, but remember, it's 12 and up. And get ready for next week's book, The Graveyard Book, Volume 1, by Neil Gaiman and P. Craig Russell. Spoiler alert! It's awesome! So, that's all for now. Follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, and like us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube. And check back every Thursday on ComicMix.com for new videos. Bye!